That happened. Whoa. Ugh. I feel horrible. And all I taste is ginger. All I taste is ginger. Holy crap, that was so much food. That was like a dollar fifty. In oatmeal, I have like ten more pounds of oats showing up. Oh man. I think I started what time did I make that? Seven, eight o'clock? It's taken me four hours to eat that. My candle just went out. So it's taken me an entire candle to eat that. I'm making a big joke out of it, but it took me eight hours to eat that. This, for me, is supposed to be my, this is you living food. If I don't do anything, this is supposed to be enough food. So I did extra stuff already. Some singing and that bow thing, which was really me warming up to do rings. I'm going to do metal rings and just hold poses for my shoulders. I never did the flick and arrow thing. I've just been going out there and visualizing arrows because I don't really need to. Excuse me. If I'm just doing it for performance and capacity reasons, I can, I'm good just doing it inside the house like I just did. What I just did was the equivalent of pulling my bow like 300 times. So I'm good. As far as an archer goes, I can fire it upside down backwards while laying down while you're taking a nap. That was just me stretching. So if I did that once a week, boom, I can hit anything with my bow. Physically, I can hit anything with my bow. Everything else is trajectory, windage, everything else. This allows me to do that. If I eat any of my leftovers, that's because I was able to go for a bike ride or do more activities. I already feel like I need to take a nap, but I'm glad I brewed this with tea and some caffeine. Otherwise, I don't think I would have survived just eating it. I, whoa, whoa. I'm taking a break before I even light the next candle and I don't think I'm eating until that candle goes out. That was a lot of food. That was just that was just a stupid amount of food. Okay, good talk.